Hello everybody, Creeper Killer Central here, and I'm going to be showing you how to craft all the things you're going to be needing in the power suits, um, for power suits. Whoa, I did not know I could break that far away. Okay, now, what you're going to be doing is you, so for the first of all, the most important, probably the most important thing you're going to be needing is this right here, copper wiring, or not copper wiring, wiring. Um, it's crafted like that. The next thing you're going to need is a tinker table. This is probably one of the most expensive things you're going to need because you need an emerald. And those are pretty hard to find. Probably, I'm pretty sure they're more rare than diamond. So, as you can see, that's right there. Now, right here, this is the power helmet. Alright. That you're going to meet. Now, in, in this recipes, in all these recipes, you're gonna notice that all in every single one there's all wiring you're gonna need wiring for every single one that's why I said that wiring is you're gonna use it a lot now here this is the chest plate or torso and then the leggings you just need copper or wiring in the knee bits and then here are the power armor feet and then next, the very oh, the last thing is the claw. Now, <laughs> this kind of looks kind of funny because it hangs off of that. And so, if you're like walking around the corner, it looks like somebody's reaching out. Just thought I should mention that. Um, this is how you craft that. Take that. Now, to actually use all of these things, you're going to be needing all this stuff. You don't have to use all this stuff, but these are the things I would suggest. That's how you craft everything. If you don't want to know how, if you want to know how to um, how to do these extra things, you see, like um, make batteries and all that. If you have um, not enough items, you can type in the item in the bottom and then hover over it with your mouse and hit R, the item, and it'll tell you how to craft it. Um, so that's you, you probably won't have that you might um if it depends on if you're using thomcraft or not so this is something that i this is this is the layout that i use whenever i am doing this and i'm making these um you don't want to have your power suit too too heavy so do you see right there if i change the battery size it makes it um heavier and you don't want it to be too heavy or else you'll move really slowly also these are the arm rings so if you don't have any armor you're not gonna be protected at all so any any old creeper could come up and explode you with your armor that you spent hours working on so what I would suggest is not getting diamond plating because that that's really heavy as you'll see right here adds another six kilograms um, onto your thing and you don't onto your um, stuff and so you don't want to do that you want to use this this consumes energy but it's just as strong as diamond plating so to make that you need force field emitters and if you do that you see it doesn't add it doesn't actually add any weight but it does use um but it does use power every time you take damage though um next thing i would definitely add is a solar panel uh, or not solar panel solar generator um because it make it it'll generate electricity while you're standing out in the sun um this i would install just for the heck of it because it looks really cool and it's free too you don't have to like you see it's there's nothing there and so you can install that um water that's all that's all stuff that if you want to do um that you can do it i wouldn't suggest the auto feeder it doesn't it doesn't do anything that you don't want it to do but it's just quite annoying um, if flight control, I would suggest testing this out for you. Um, it depends on whether or not you like it, so you can install all these things. Um, let's keep adding these. Active camouflage, I'm not quite sure what that does yet. You definitely want a jetpack, that's prob that's really helpful. Um, for the pants, you definitely want an elite battery. You want you pretty much want an elite battery from all of these if you can. 
it is very hard to get an elite battery. You need lots and lots of ender eyes, or not ender eyes, ender pearls. Kinetic gen, kinetic generator. I would definitely get this. And the great thing about this is if you get this, and you get the sprint assist, and you turn those up you can run really fast but you'll be generating just as much power as you get rid of I, I think that's how you pronounce it how you would say that you it gives you just as much power it gives you more power actually no it gives you more power than these use so this right here it well, the way it works is every so you can see right here per five blocks it'll produce one jolt one thousand jolts and this right here will make you run really fast and so you'll be able to run and produce energy but you'll be producing more energy than you're getting rid of by running um, jump assist I that's all up to you um, swim assist I don't see much difference with that um, uh, I would I would um, suggest this if you want to it helps you run really fast whenever you're running around um, for the boots, you definitely want these shock absorbers. They're pretty cheap. Servo motors aren't that heavy. Aren't that are not heavy. Um, aren't that hard to craft. Um, ion thrusters. They're quite kind of hard. But I would definitely get jet boots and shock absorbers. Those are really helpful. And then once again, the um, elite battery. If you can't get an elite battery, I would still I would try and get the highest possible battery you can get. Um, and then here is a field emitter, force field emitter, or that's how, that's what you need for it. Anyways, um, and then for the power, t for the power tool, um, for the, uh, yeah, for the power tool, um, a plasma cannon, they're really cool. Now, now here's the difference between what these do. So, so if I just do that and then I pull out the power tool, um, there we go. Oh, I don't think they don't have any power. Well, basically, the way it, the what it does is, if you have, um, if you have that up high, that'll do that. If it's fully charged, it usually will insta kill stuff. What well, if you have this up though? It actually breaks blocks whenever you shoot it, but it does cost more energy. So that that sh that's something that you should be aware of. Now, I would definitely put both of these up high. What this one does is it um this is the knockback like this is how far it knocks you back and or knocks the whatever you're hitting back and this is how um this is how much damage it does that's that's pretty helpful if you have that up like that you can do that or if you want to have a little bit of knockback or a lot of knockback stuff like that now on to the tools so you can these are all really easy all three of these are really easy to do you can install all that. I personally have all these things up to the highest. Oops, I have all these things up to the highest. You might and might not be able to do all those up to the highest. Um, but that's what I that's what I usually do. I would do the the blink drive. All that does is it's like it's like you're throwing an ender pearl except you can throw it much further. That's all that is. I would definitely install this, and it just makes it to where you can break obsidian. Um, this, I would, I, if it depends on if you want it or not, it's pretty easy, all you need is a servo, servo motor, so I would definitely install that, um, just turn that up to 100, um, for this, all you need is a control circuit and a crafting table, uh, what this does is it allows you to just click and then you'll have a crafting table, um, that's pretty helpful, um, we can install this. Now, oh, actually, now that I have a battery, I can show you all these things. So now, as you can see, it makes a big ball, and then it fires it. So now if I explode this right here, as you can see, it doesn't destroy anything. But if I turn up this one, as you can see, it does destroy a little area. Actually, it gets, I think it's pretty big, actually. If you wanted to like snipe a base or something from a really long distance, you could just do like that. No, well actually I think it disappears after a while. 
But if you wanted to like hit somebody's base and run, and you can actually just go like this, I think, and it doesn't destroy as much, but it does destroy a little bit. Um, now, if we continue on over here, oh, actually, and if I, I don't know if I can put these on. Yeah, I don't think I can. Um, actually, I can. If I put all those on. Now, as you can see, I run really fast. But if you look up in the corner in that power, do you see how it's not going down? Normally, that'd be going down really fast, but since I have the kinetic generators on, they don't go down. And then this is this jetpack. Now, since your power tool will weigh the most, it'll weigh a lot. So, what you what you could do is if you wanted to fly, see as you can see, I can fly really high and all that stuff. But as soon as I put this on. You'll notice that I weigh I'll weigh a lot more, and so I can't go as high. I think. Oh well, I guess not. I guess it doesn't weigh that much. Um, but yeah, so um, I would I I wouldn't suggest having um, this on unless you wanted to because I one time I was messing around with around a crystal chest and went to open it, missed it, and shot it and destroyed it, and it didn't come back. So. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.